Hi, I'm Kat, and I hate horror movies. And today, we're watching Creepshow. I'm very excited to watch Creepshow because so many of you have been recommending it. I don't know anything about this movie. I see that it's a Stephen King. If I don't make my way through Stephen King's entire library, did I ever even really make a horror channel? Also, there's maybe gonna be a creep who does a show. I love a show. Love creeps a bit less. Let's see if they can balance each other out. Let's get into it. I told you before, I didn't want you to read this crap. I want to see how it's any worse from the books you keep in your dresser. Those sex books. Oh my god. You didn't have to get him. I got some garbage I want to throw away. Daddy, please don't throw it away. This dad can go. Poor kid. The slap mark's still across his face. He's throwing out something called creep show? Is this a horror magazine movie? About a magazine? We'll find out. Stan, don't you think you were a little hard on him? All that horror crap? Things coming out of crates and eating people? Dead people coming back to life? You want him reading that stuff? Well, no, but... All right, then. I took care of it. That's why God made fathers. This guy can go. No one would be too upset. All those are gonna come to life and get it. <laughs> Creepy kid! Oh, what is... Why are you thrilled to see? All right. They're like old friends. <laughs> Bumps. <laughs> I love this. I love the, the... This is George Romero. This is gonna be good. Is this gonna be animated? Like, what's happening? What a full treat. Leslie Nielsen? It is such a treat going into these not knowing anything. Ted Danson is in this? Stephen King is in this? Tom Savini! Okay, okay, can I just say, recognizing some of these names means it makes me feel so good. <sighs> I feel like I'm in the know, you know? <sighs> like, I feel like I'm on the inside of a very cool club. Wow, <sighs> what a transition. Do you really think she'll be out, Aunt Sylvia? Of course she will. It's the clock on the dot. We're inside the creep show book. She's Richard and Cass's great aunt. But her father, Nathan Grantham, was even older and meaner than that. Oh, just waiting to get your hands on my money. He had a stroke. And lucky Bedelia, she got to nurse him full time. She met a fella. Bedelia loved her rather elderly beau, and her own father had him murdered. Yarborough was the guy's name. Died in a hunting accident. She bashed her father's head in with a marble ashtray. So rumor has it. She returns to this house, the scene of her crime. You can almost set your watch by her. You think she really did it? Oh, yes. Bedelia was always very unstable. Why Father's Day? Because that was the day of the tragedy. She will go to her father's grave. And then she will come inside, and we will all sit down to a nice baked ham dinner. The four of us who now owe her so very much. Uh-oh. I'm loving these frames. Oh no. Feels justified. I don't feel too bad about it. Happy Father's Day. Oh, 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 
Oh, wasted libations. The real horror of this movie. The peaceful head. <laughs> must have deteriorated. Don't let go. Don't let nobody dances in the living room anymore, you know? Nobody, nobody dances. Turn it down right now. Nah. She's having too much fun. He'll do it though. Because he's a little afraid. I do hope she's all right. Sometimes she loses track of time. Wow, really? Can you just do that with matches on anything? Any rough surface? That's kind of neat. Miss Grantham, you around? We're getting hungry. Oh my god, he's obsessed with lighting <laughs> matches on random things. Surely if you have a match, you have a match book. Unless you're just keeping loosey-goosey matches in your pocket. Probably not. He's obsessed. He's gotta do it a third time now, right? <laughs> oh. It's gonna hurt if you don't get up. He doesn't want to shake the ground. Now someone's pushing that. I mean, I would get up if he's really just quite shocked. I'm sure. Needed a cane to walk when he was alive. Needs nothing now that he's dead. We love it. <laughs> Wish! Where's my cake? I want it. Oh, wow, that's, that is a cool voice crackle. I wonder how they did that. Where's my cake? <laughs> this girl's got all the energy in the world! Where is he? No doubt he's still out at the grave, hobnobbing with your Aunt Bedelia. Bedelia. I want my dinner. I'm hungry. Well, go get him, then. Mrs. Danvers. Mrs. Danvers would never go in with muddy shoes. Something is amiss. Mrs. Danvers would never leave a pot unattended. Mrs. Danvers. <laughs> Oh my god! Just a full 180 without any leverage. He's very strong. <laughs> you go look for him. Richard, I'm scared and it's dark out there. Well, it's honest. Are we conserving energy? <laughs> I love that line. Next time someone in a horror movie doesn't turn the lights on. Father's I got my cake. Oh my God. Father's Day. It's not cake, it's just a person with cream on her head. Gag, arg, oh. Dear Creep. All I can say is wow. <laughs> On to the next story. I love this format. Holy old Jesus! That's a meteor. Mm -hmm. I 
be dipped in shit. What are you gonna just cut it open? We've seen the blob, it's not a good idea. I wonder how much they'd pay for it up to college. How much they'd pay for it up to college. Up to college. His dream sequence? <laughs> Damn fine one, Mr. Barry. Uh-huh. How does fifty dollars sound? Two hundred bucks. Two hundred? Pay off that bank loan. Got to cool some bitch off. Ah. <laughs> Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, yeah, little. Oh, maybe those are like eggs or something. Maybe it's like implanted in with eggs. The egg is hatched. Oh, you done it now, Jordy Farrell. You monkhead. $200? I wouldn't give you two cents! Still, I got to try. God, the acting is so campy and fun. Don't spill out the juice! Why are you spilling it out? Look at his fingies. Meteor sh Maybe I can glue it together in the morning. <laughs> so disappointed. The World Wrestling Federation champion defending his title here in Madison Square Garden. I feel like I would love wrestling if I only gave wrestling a chance. And I'm willing to, I just don't know where to start. It feels like the plot lines have all already developed, you know? But I feel like I'm a good candidate to love watching wrestling. Blackman working on the left arm of Samoa number one. Don't suck on your... Blistery fingies. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? What is that? Right. They weren't blisties, they're little eggs. Or, or something. He doesn't know who to call. <laughs> oh, I love these dream sequences for him. Sorry, Mr. His fingers have... Same guy? Come off. Huh. This is going to be extremely painful. Oh, oh. Why do you keep putting them in your mouth? Whoops, been sucking on the alien juice. I love this, this device of using the comic. So it's a fungus. It's a fungus. Don't it itch! I think a close shave would take that right off. Oh my, everything he's touching. No, it's plant life. It's, it's, it's... It's created some sort of jungle. It's a grass of sorts. Can you understand that? No. No, I just mowed this lawn! Is what he's thinking. Oh, yikes. <gasps> Poor guy. It's gonna be the Grinch in no time. Wow. I guess it got into the soil or something. <laughs> His mitts. I feel bad for him. Oh no, not there. <laughs> huh? Eddie? Sorry. You're dead. You ain't gonna get in that tub, are you? You get in that water, Jordan. You might as well sign your death warrant. I'm a goner already, Daddy. Ain't I? Ah. Ain't I? 
Daddy? 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 Will this make the plant life grow faster or? Oh, better. It's like a whole ecosystem in there. Just the TV still going. In quiet trading. Please, God. Oh, no. Let my luck be in. Just this once. Well, not much for the outdoor types, but you farmers are going to love this. Portland calls for lots of rain. It's going to turn green so fast in the next month that it's going to be almost miraculous. Yikes. Oh, I'm sorry about him. It was interesting having the TV going, right? Just like the mundane of the TV with what's happening with him. That was like a fun contrast. And then just to show that it's spreading. I have a soft spot for fish. It's the only pet I could have. Allergies. Wentworth? All right. Nice place. <gasps> you better get your foot out of the door. You're going to lose about half of it. Yeah, unless you let me in and talk to me, something very nasty is going to happen to Rebecca. Becky and I were going to sit down and tell you pretty soon anyway. You know, some of these cables are loose, Harry. I love the bleed over of the plants back there from the last uh, one. That's got to be a purposeful bleed over. I don't know whether I ever loved you or not, Harry. That doesn't matter. Point is, I keep what is mine. No exception to that rule ever. Got something I want you to hear. Why not just put it on the table? He's got me in. Please come. You talk to me, you son of a bitch. I'm going to kill you. Well, you kill me and you'll never find out. I love the ocean. I love this cast. Harry! The maiden fair is waiting for her knight in shining corduroy. <laughs> Here's something I think you'll find interesting. You see that down there? The burial mound of my lady fair? Could be. It's not. Knew there'd be a naked gun under there. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you think. I suggest that you remember the lady fair. Jump into that hole. Wow, Leslie Nielsen is a villain? Here for it. Yell all you want, Harry. Nobody's gonna hear anything. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. He's gonna... Uh... <sighs> Sorry, I just love this gas so much. And what's the matter? Can't move your arms. Oh, feels very claustrophobic. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Keep wiggling! Wiggle! I bet you he could wiggle his way out of that! Don't you? That crab will eat him. We've seen it in Jaws. Oh, come on! Don't kick it! It's a crab! Shutter! Becky? That great video? No, that's a trick. You son of a bitch! Wiggle out! The VCR is not on play, it's on record. I'm gonna save this stuff. Don't be lying now, not long at all. I promised that you'd see Becky again. I kept my promise. The tide might even set you free. It depends on how long you keep it cool, how long you hold your breath. You can snatch a quick breath. You've got a chance here. If you don't lose your head now, it looks like she's losing hers, Dad. Oh, God, no! Oh, upper nose. Oh, the tide. Coming in. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hurry, hurry. I really can't stay. What's powering that monitor? What's powering that VCR I'd like to see? Where's the generator? Logistically, recording, you know, out there would be a nightmare. Hey! <laughs> What's your plan? Do you have a plan? Yeah, try for one arm. Does he have a chance of escaping if the water like washes all around, you know? 
I wish he would just go like this. Just with his shoulders until he could wiggle his way out or something. I don't know. It just feels like maybe he could get one arm free or something, you know? I don't know. He's just so pleased with himself. Just an evil mastermind with evil monitors underneath paintings? Oh my, I feel so like claustrophobic, you know? <laughs> You. you hear me, Richard? No, probably not. Gotta hold your breath there, Harry. <laughs> oh. I thought maybe he was gonna make it. Do all of these just have sad endings? Where the evil thing wins? Oh, I'm gonna need to buy a new wire, is what he's thinking. Sure, I pulled him out. Or did it? And that's what happened, all right. He's gone. <gasps> He's coming for his revenge! We're here for this revenge arc. By the way, what time is it? I don't know. Oh my god, the same ashtray! Oh, it's a it's a callback to the first one. Beautiful. Up. He's damp and he's angry. <laughs> didn't bother to change, huh? You just didn't want to shake off any sea vegetation. We respect it, single minded, on a mission. And also in no rush at all. Just walking very slowly. Oh, they're ghosts! Because they weren't on the camera. And he was standing right there when he opened the... Painting. Who's out there? <sighs> I have a feeling your gun isn't going to help you. I remind you, dear boy, I have the gun. Oh, they're dead. That's sad. I thought maybe it was a revenge mission. We wanted to see you on return. It's showtime. The makeup artist was just like, ah, we're not gonna do much on your hands. We'll just do the tips of your fingers. We're running a bit low on green. No one will notice. Locks it? <laughs> Hold my breath a long, long time. Is this an actual book? Like, is this an actual, um, comic? Oh no, nothing bad better happen to this guy. No. It's just a all right. Inflation. That nickel's worth, you know, was worth a lot more then. Yeah. Oh, Dexter, you are such a child. But at least Henry has me to take care of him. Tabby, Richard. You just come on with me. Henry, you stay here till I get back. Excuse us, please. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Hi. Aw, oh, no one wants to talk to him? Whoever that etiquette crotch is. Excuse me? I don't know why they keep inviting her. Oh, I feel bad nobody likes her too, though, you know? I feel bad. 
she's, you know. How about tonight? Maybe we could do it tonight. Gather you'll be unavailable for chess tonight. <sighs> I'd be almost willing to bet that crate's full of National Geographic. Something about uh, an Arctic expedition. Oh, maybe there's something more interesting in your crate than National Geographic. After all, my. I love the transition. I mean, some of these so-called academics. Wilma. Husband's calling you. Henry, what's wrong now? Not a thing, Wilma. Could have used his words. Shot. Hell of a shot. Huh? Oh. Huh? That's what I figured. Huh? What is it and why is it locked in? Help me out with this, will you? I think we might really have something here. That's one. Felt like something shifted in there. Yeah. Did you feel it when we lifted it up? Yeah. I got a hammer and chisel out in the closet. Just wait while I go get him. I hope nothing bad happens to this fellow. Just because you and your intellectual friend are going to play chess doesn't mean you have to leave a mess for me. She's not very nice to him. Yes, Billy. Yes, Billy. Yes, Billy. Enjoy your chess. Ugh, I don't like her. Whatever's in the box can get her. She's not nice to him. No, oh, be my guest, Mike. It's your fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gee, maybe someone was really trying to keep this closed. Something just blew dust into his face. Because it's alive in there. gonna rip his <laughs> not not him <laughs> what are you are you like the yeti or something what are you <laughs> he's probably hungry no, now's your chance to close that thing. Oh, he ran though. That's good. There, there, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Push the crate back in under the stair. He just wants to live in peace under the stairs. In his crate. Hey, Charlie. It's a full Yeti. It's a, it's a, it's like a, that's my boy. Oh, we didn't like that though. Get him, uh, get him. So, he's, oh my God, he's gonna make it. Get him, get him. Oh, it's so head. Sorry, but those effects were awesome. Just slow down. Tell me the whole story from the beginning. Am I going crazy, Henry? Oh. I have to use the uh, facilities. Uh... Do we trust Henry completely? Seems like a gentle guy. Let's get you another drink, Dex. Ah, uh, no, 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 I've had enough. Why is he gonna drug him? Why is he drugging Just him? Just one more for the both of us. Oh, we talked this over. Why would he drug him? What do you know? Or maybe he thinks he's a murderer or something. <laughs> <sighs> he 
Yeah, that brush ought to do it in. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Like, I have no predictions. So not like me. is happening. Wilma. What it? I've had to leave in a hurry. Is he trying to like cover for his friend or what is happening? He's had problems coping with certain young female grad students. He got a young woman to accompany him to Amberson Hall and then attacked her. He was gibbering with fear and crying, I think. Oh, poor. She's just here for the goss. Could you come out here? You're always so clear-headed about these things. He said that she had curled up in a dark place and won't come out. <laughs> As you so often say, what would I do without you? He's setting her up to get killed. We're not upset to see her go, but this is, this is quite an intense way to, to do it. Is this going to work is the question. We'll find out. He's like, hope you're still hungry. Got one more for ya. She brought her milk and whiskey. Also, milk and whiskey? Are we sure? Could also just divorce her though, you know? Henry? Kill her, divorce her. Could just serve her with some papers. Is this gonna come back to bite him in the ass? Maybe. What are you doing creeping around down there? He's not gonna be able to go through with it. I don't know, he's just excited. <laughs> it's easier if you just see for yourself, Wilma. That's what's so funny. The girl has crawled under the stairs. I know you can get her out. I know you can get her out. Stop, wait! I'll help you. Wake up! Wait! Same old Henry. Afraid of your own shadow. No good at making money. No good at making an impression on anybody. And no good at all in bed. And I swear to God, if you ever touch me. <laughs> So it likes to live in its crate. Doesn't want to leave. Doesn't want to go on a rampage. Wants to live in the crate. Lock it. Lock it. My guy. My guy. The crate is at the bottom of Ryder's quarry. I drove out there with the remains of three human beings. Maybe at the very end. It began to suspect what was happening. Aww. It's sad in there. Don't let that break! That's gonna hit the water and break, I have a feeling. Then what? Bunch of dead fish is what? The question is, what happens now? So what about you, Dexter? What are you gonna say? Nothing. I expect to whip your ass at chess twice a week for the rest of our lives. He's a different man, isn't he? If you saw the way I chained it up, you wouldn't worry. to know that the water was going to wear away at the wood, ultimately. Bastards. Same soap dish or same 
Looks like the ashtray. Oh, I found another cockroach this evening, George. Oh, no. One of those big ones. Not going to have any bugs in my building. I loathe bugs. Norman Gaston Myers shot himself an hour ago. Well, when it became clear, there was no, uh, no way to stop the takeover. Wonderful. Now we won't have to offer the old fart a seat on the board of directors. Get off the phone, George. Never run good news into the ground. Not up the pants. Goodbye, George. Yes, sir. Good night, Mr. Pratt. Well, don't hurt it. No. I don't like that. No! Lots of people are going to rejoice when I'm dead. Who are you? I'm the wife of the man you, you murdered this afternoon. Mrs. Katzenmeier! Wasn't enough for you to drive him to his knees, was it? No, you had to kill him as well. And his, and his eyes. His eyes were so dead. George Genron told me old Norman went out with a bang. How many men have you destroyed? What is that? What is what is in that? That better be chocolate. Not weird cockroach jam. And then the exterminators, within the space of a half an hour, you will have no job by midnight tonight. Do you understand me? Objectively, this this guy sucks. This is what I thought! Again, huh? Mr. Brad, sir, I don't think you is crazy not at all. I might be able to get Pirelli Brothers out here by 11:30. You might go far, White. I've noticed that in service jobs, people like yourself often do. People of color. This guy can go. <sighs> they come out of the sink in New York. They call them water bugs. Come on, come on, come on. What do I pay you for? No, that better not have been a real bug, you know. I'll be s upset. I've got bugs. Everybody's got bugs tonight. I right? don't think you understand who you're talking to. This is up some crash. They should just fumigate the place. With him in it. White! White, talk to me! You can't be stuck in the elevator! I want you up here right now! There's bugs! Wow, some of those are huge. Are those all roaches? Some of those have gotta be. See, this is not CGI, so are these bugs actually here? You gotta, someone's gotta tell me. Are those actual cockroaches and are they actually there and en masse? You'll never get in here. Beating bugs all my life. I'll beat you too. Bah. I hope you die. That's so many of them. <laughs> Who has a lot of them? I hope you die. Mr. Pratt? You there, Mr. Pratt? Dream sequence? What's the matter, Mr. Pratt? Bugs got your tongue? No. they doing that? How do they do that? How do they do that in this movie? How do they make that happen? Bastard. 
We're not upset that the biggest roach died. <laughs> Am I right? Aw, not garbage. Damn it, Bob! Damn it, Bob! My kids love these things. I love them too. Look, an authentic voodoo doll. Somebody already sent for it. Yeah, uh -huh. we can't get that. Where's Billy? Billy! Stan, are you all right? You must have strained it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Ah. Ah, oh, teach you to throw away my comic box. Uh. Ready for another shot, Dad? I knew that kid was creepy. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I loved that. So Stephen King played someone named Jordan. I, I missed it. I just, I didn't know which one was him because I don't know what he looks like. Tom Savini played a garbage man? Look at this. Father's Day Jordy Tide Crate creeping up on you. Those are great titles for those. Wow. I just loved that. Like, I loved that. I loved that we were going through chapters of a book. I loved that the transitions reflected that. I liked that each of them called back to a previous one, the recurring ashtray that turned into a soap dish. The practical effects, when that Yeti bit the guy's face and it like tore through the flesh, it was like so, you know, it was like so, you know? Were those real cockroaches? No cockroaches were harmed in the making of that movie, right? A lot of baddies though were harmed in the making of that movie. A lot of baddies really got what they deserved in that movie, which also felt so good. Except for that one guy who started to grow grass all over himself. I felt bad for that poor guy. Is Creepshow 2 as good? Let me know. Well, I give Creepshow, honestly, a hundred. Let's go with an awesome movie like that. Come on. Z Out of 10, Tom Savini does it again. And George Romero and Stephen King. A trifecta of awesome. Sprinkled in with a little bit of Ted and Leslie. Yes! You know? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Sizz. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching that with me. If you enjoyed that as much as I did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and it tells me that you want me to watch more of these. And speaking of more of these, if there's another movie that you want me to watch, leave it in the comments. I read them all and it's where I go to get my movies. I'm gonna go for a walk now, but you should watch another one of my videos because this was awesome. See you soon.